Haley is trying to avoid a WWE SmackDown with Trump. He's not giving her a way out. Source of the news. Francesca Chambers. USA Today. Bamberg, South Carolina. Nikki Haley dodged the female president problem for as long as she could. When she entered the race a year ago, she was the only female candidate in an anticipated field of former governors, a U.S. senator, and even a former vice president. Of all the likely politicians to challenge Donald Trump's hold on the GOP, few believed she'd be the last candidate standing. It only took her becoming viable following contests in Iowa and New Hampshire for Trump to bring back a tried and tested campaign approach when running against women and minorities, insult them. He has called her a bird brain, made fun of her given name, Nimarada, and tried to sow doubt about her marriage by asking the whereabouts of Major Michael Haley. And the marriage quip comes despite the fact that Trump's own wife, Melania, has not been seen next to him on the campaign trail since he launched his latest White House bid. It's on Haley to respond. But it poses a challenge for the candidate who has been hungry to be defined by her policies and governing style in an era when voters have shown an appetite for mudslinging, name-calling, and a level of personality politics that sit outside the former South Carolina governor's comfort zone. Now, it seems that Haley might have to punch back to stay in the fight, leaving many questioning whether it will be enough. Prep for the polls. See who is running for president and compare where they stand on key issues in our voter guide. Republican presidential hopeful and former UN ambassador Nikki Haley greets Harriet Coker, her former teacher, at a campaign event on February 13, 2024, in Bamberg, South Carolina. Haley has limited her attacks on Trump to poking him, keeping the respect of voters who want a return to civility in politics, even as polling indicates it's not getting the job done. In a gaggle with reporters after an Elgin event on Monday, an incredulous Haley noted that moments before, she had made her most forceful comments against Trump to date. Did you just hear everything I just said? Because that was a pretty big attack on him, Haley told USA Today. She has called the comments about her husband, Michael, who is serving in the U.S. military overseas, careless, disgusting, and part of a pattern of disrespectful behavior. What bothered me is if you mock one person in the military, you're mocking everybody in the military, Haley said Tuesday morning in Bamberg.